Hello everyone, welcome back to Noita. Is there seriously a whole other magical facet to this game that I had no clue about after several hours of play? As one Discord user so eloquently put it, and then my even more eloquent reply. Yep. So yes, alchemy is yet again another mechanic that is more or less hidden in plain sight in Noita. Basic alchemy is pretty much everywhere around us as we play. Water and fire produce steam. You can add water to toxic sludge to completely neutralize it. There is combustion, which produces smoke, etc., etc. There are many reactions happening all around us. But there are more complex recipes in the game. Three of which I'm going to cover in a little bit of depth in this video. And even after hours of playing, you may never encounter any of these naturally occurring out in the wild. And that is because these recipes are completely random with every seed. If the recipes are completely random, how would you ever figure it out? Well, two ways. One, you could just stumble onto it through natural play and be very, very lucky. Or Zathers on the official Discord made an extremely useful website. All you got to do is get your current seed, and you get that by pausing your game and then looking down here, and that number is your seed. And then you plug it in right here and click send, and then it will tell you all of the ingredients you need for that seed in order to make both of these substances. And I'll put a link down below in the description box of this video to this site. First up, Lively Concoction. What is it? What does it do? Well, let's make some more to demonstrate. And to help me demonstrate, I actually took a little dip in Toxic Sludge and brought my health down to five. And in this particular seed, the recipe for Lively Concoction is none other than water, coal, and blood. Now, let me just spray out all this water. I want to make a bunch of this stuff. Make a big pool of it. I already have a full flask, but whatever, it's fine. Now, um, let's just throw this. Boom, and now we have lively concoction. All of the coal is being converted to lively concoction. And as you can see, I'm drowning, but I'm healing at the same time. I could also stand in the middle of this fire without a care in the world. Just chilling out, no problem. You're going to want to flask it up as soon as possible, though, because as you can see, Lively Concoction, or LC as we call it, evaporates extremely quickly. Now let's make some alchemic precursor. In this seed, the recipe is pretty simple. It's oil, and we got a giant vat of oil right here. Oil, pheromone, and berserkium. So all I have to do, not that. Don't light the oil on fire. Just spray a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and see what happens. When it mixes at the bottom, boom, there we go. This is all alch alchemic precursor. And check it out, it's making a bunch of it. Just a couple little sprays like that should convert all of the oil into alchemic precursor. Now, let me just, we have an empty flask right here. Let me just jump all the way in, and then boom, fill up this flask with the alchemic precursor. 100%, let's get out before we drown in it. It makes you drunk. <laughs> and interestingly enough, alchemic precursor doesn't do anything on its own. You need to mix something else in with it to create another extremely interesting concoction. People say that you can use blood to achieve the desired reaction, but allow me to debunk that myth right now. As you can see, we have a blood cloud wand. No reaction. And here I have a couple of 100% full blood flasks. Again, no reaction. And by all means, please do not use fire. Okay, I'm drunk. Please excuse my poor aim. Please don't use fire. 
because as you can see, it is extremely flammable and you will lose it all very, very quickly. And so you're probably asking, hey Fury, what does cause the desired reaction? And the answer is not blood, but meat. And I could use this rotten meat right down here. I could blow a hole right in the side of this vat and we'll see the reaction, but I wanna do this the right way. So we're gonna kick this out of the way. I wanna, let's blow off the side of the vat right there. All right. And then we're gonna head up to the surface for uh, some other meat. And it just so happens that worm meat works just fine. The first egg on the tree is guaranteed to spawn either a small worm, medium worm, or a big mama. Get rid of that. Let me just, we're gonna get rid of all of our blood that we have on us. I don't need it anymore. And then we'll just take a dip in it for critical damage. And I want to take this opportunity to also thank all of you guys for your response to my videos. It's been great. Thank you so much. And I need to also thank the Discord community for being amazing. I've been working on this video for the past like couple weeks, pretty much. And uh, all of the members, especially the members who are active in the alchemy channel been extremely helpful with everything so thank you very much and yeah i'll put a link down below in the comment box or not the comment box maybe i'll pin a comment as well but in the description box to the discord server as well so if you're interested in anything any of this stuff join the discord server it's amazing really great community Anyway, so let's see. We're just going to smash the egg right here. We got a small worm. That's fine. Works just fine. All right. Easy to kill. Uh, because sometimes I've, I've done a lot of worm hunting on the surface here. And sometimes, like, if you get a medium or a large one, they just, you know, they peace out. They go down there and then you never see them again. Or maybe you got to kill them down there. This one I had to take care of up here on the surface. <laughs> and now we gotta just soccer or football this chunk. We have a few tries here. Hopefully we could do this. I hope it doesn't land. Well, where'd it go? Perfect! It almost went in. It almost went in. Alright. Now, this ground, I want to kind of flatten it a little bit, please, so it doesn't get in the way. Yeah, let me just... I just don't want to mess this up. I mean, we have a few more chances, but whatever. Alright. So here we go. We got worm meat. Let's kick this worm meat into the vat of alchemic precursor and see what happens. Get in there, please. Goal! And here we are. Draft of Midas. And yes, as you can see, it gets you drunk and it turns literally everything to gold. Well, except for living things. And water, obviously. It pools in water, so you can easily get a flask of it. We could uh, burrow basically through the entire world. Basically. I mean, look at all this that I made. This is nothing. I mean, I have two more full flasks of Alchemic Precursor. Look at all this gold down here, though. Oh my god, look at all that gold. We got a giant mountain of it. And there's my original bomb wand. Okay, I don't want to accidentally... Look at this. We're making a mountain of gold. <laughs> And look at my money. I'm going to drown in it. I'm drunk with gold. All right, guys. We are back up on the surface on the east side of the lake. I figured this was as good a spot as any to find out two things. First thing I want to find out is how deep into the earth we can get using Draft of Midas. And we may run across an enemy or two who we could then convert into more Draft of Midas to get even deeper. I don't know how deep we're going to get. The second thing I want to find out is in the process of tunneling through the earth, how much gold are we going to end up with? Anyway, three, two, one, let's go. So it's like 15 minutes later, and... I was hoping that we would run into something, so I'm kind of starting to head in this direction a little bit to see if we could, you know, find what biome we're near. Oh, we found something. Where are we? 
As you can see, the laboratory, this is the end game. Oh my God. Well, um, look at this. Wow. Oh my God. Let me get out of here. Let me go back to where it's safe, where all my money is, my Scrooge McDuck's treasure vault or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. I don't know. We're going to get into deep trouble. Woo! Lava. Okay. Well, we made it all the way to the end, but I don't want to show anything else now. This was uh, an eye-opening experience. We end up with 178 thousand gold more than that actually and uh i'm just going to put myself out of my misery now even though this stuff will melt through anything i don't recommend using it in lava so those were three of the substances we've been able to discover so far uh there are actually more but we don't know if they're obtainable in game there's especially, there's void liquid, which also apparently eats through anything. And then there's mysterious fungus, which I don't think anybody knows what it does yet. Uh, but we don't know if those are obtainable or craftable in-game yet. But eventually, maybe. Anyway, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And again, there's a link to that website down below in the description box of this video. There's a link to the Discord server as well. And like I always say, if you make any major discoveries, please post it down below in my comments section of this video. And even better, post it in the alchemy channel of the Discord server. Thank you all again very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Peace.